Even if there isn't a bad outbreak near you, you've probably heard that staying at home will help flatten the curve of the virus's spread. But what exactly is the curve, and why do we want to flatten it? Epidemiologists, or researchers who study how diseases spread, monitor and model pandemics like the new coronavirus using charts called epidemic curves. These are basically graphs that show the number of infections on the y-axis and the amount of days that have passed since the first case on the x-axis. The dark purple curve on the left shows a pandemic outbreak where governments have failed to slow the infection rate with measures like quarantines, social distancing, and widespread testing. In this scenario, the number of cases grows exponentially, meaning the total number of infections continues to double at a consistent rate. One week, there are 5,000 cases, the next week, there are 10,000 cases, the next week, there are 20,000 cases, and so on and so on. In this scenario, hospitals are quickly overwhelmed. The sick can't receive the care they need, and the pandemic quickly spirals out of control. As you can see, this curve skyrockets to a point where so much of the population has either been infected by the virus or killed by it, that the virus quickly runs out new hosts, and case numbers proceed to drop just as steeply as they rose. Even though this pandemic ends relatively quickly, it comes at the tremendous cost of many unnecessary deaths, and likely a collapse of the healthcare system. The second curve, on the other hand, represents a pandemic that has been met early with interventions like quarantining and social distancing. More people stay at home, and so fewer people become infected at a given time. The infection rate spreads much more slowly, and hospitals are able to meet the demands of incoming patients. The slower the infection spreads, the more time there is to care for patients, order new supplies, and conduct the widespread testing needed to help isolate new cases as best as possible. This pandemic lasts a little longer, but it means significantly fewer deaths in the long run, and likely a healthcare system that can continue to function after the pandemic. We know from past pandemics, like the 1918 influenza outbreak, that flattening the curve works. And we can see this playing out during the current pandemic as well. Countries like South Korea and Taiwan have been able to significantly slow the spread of infections by aggressively testing the population, and mandating social distancing practices like quarantines and school closures early on. Meanwhile, countries like the United States and Italy were slow to intervene in the virus's spread and are currently seeing exponential growth in infection rates. It's not too late to flatten the curve in the US, and you can help by taking the pandemic seriously and staying home as much as possible, even if there isn't a bad outbreak near you. Remember, symptoms of COVID-19 can take more than a week to manifest, and you don't want to be the next case that causes the curve to grow even steeper.